Come sing your song, Wheeze. <laughs> Singing the song of her peoples. She's in her Buzz Lightyear today. Now I'm in my, my Buzz Lightyear ears and just a purple dress. Mama Snark here, Disney day four, park day three. We are headed to Hollywood Studios this morning. We decided not to do the early morning magic. Oh, that's the sun. Just because she's playing the floor is lava behind me. Where is she? There she is. <laughs> So we decided not to do the early morning magic because uh, we actually are doing a once upon a nanny today for Riley because she's just not, she's not into the rides and you don't know until you bring your kid here, they could also just not be into it. So we decided to do the once upon a nanny for four hours today so that she can hang out with Riley while Dana gets to do a couple of the big rides or with me and Wheeze. <laughs> Woohoo! So she's going to get to do some of the big rides with me and uh, Weez today because Weez loves Tower of Terror, Slinky Dog, all that stuff. So we're going to have four hours. We're going to try to knock out Slinky Dog Dash, Rise of the Resistance, Tower of Terror, and Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. And if we still have time, attempt Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Wh Railway because we showed Riley a video last night of the Runaway Railway and she was not having it. So she'll get to hang out with the nanny. Um, like we'll be all together in the park. And then she'll just watch her while we go do rides and then we'll kind of meet back up. She can take her to do like Frozen Sing Along or the Disney Junior Dance Party, meet characters, things like that while we go do the big stuff that she's just not not interested in. So trying that out today and I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, it's an LLC background checks and everything. They have their profiles on their Okay, they've got profiles the like kids, girls behind me playing on their website that you can check out. Um, they send you your nanny once you, you know, book and stuff like that. So she's going to meet us at Hollywood Studios at 1030. And it is currently, what time is it? It's almost nine o'clock. So we're going to go grab a quick bite to eat for breakfast at the food court and then head to the buses to Hollywood Studios. <laughs> Y'all, I know the all-star resorts are like the cheapy resorts, the values, but for kids, they don't care where you're staying. And honestly, We've stayed at Caribbean Beach too. My kids prefer like Pop Century and All Star Resorts over that because they have all this like over the top Disney stuff for them to play on. And kids love that. So as an adult, obviously I would prefer to stay deluxe or moderate if, if I could, but kids love these resorts. All right, so doing a quick food court breakfast here. Mickey Bounty Platter and then rushing to the bus. <laughs> Hollywood Studios. Weezer, you can go that way, Dana. Weezer's already spotted the Mickey on the planet. She loves that. We're going, scan into the park. It's a little before 10 o'clock now. Fan Weez. Finger. Good job, go get in your stroller. All right, well, Mickey Mouse on the planet. We're here to meet Olaf. You ready, Weez? Riley's a little bit apprehensive about meeting a non-face character. Stay right here, we gotta wait. <laughs> With her little sunglasses. This is my child. She's just the happiest little turd. Wee! 
please go give him a hug. He wants a warm hug. Oh. Oh, sweet wings. And give him a high five. All right, good job. All right, Olaf meet and greet was a success. You can push for a second. We're gonna go straight down that ramp, straight ahead. Olaf meet and greet was a success. Uh, Riley actually took a picture with them. It was it was good. So the nanny texted us. She's here. Uh, her name is Kara with Once Upon a Nanny, and we're gonna go meet her now in Toy Story Land, so that we can do our Slinky Dog Das Pass with uh, Weezer. And then we're gonna head to Rise of the Resistance after that. So we're gonna go meet her and get Riley situated and acclimated with her. <laughs> Down the ramp. Yeah, go straight. Straight and veer right. All right, heading to Toy Story Land. That's where I get my Jack Jack Nom Nom cookie. Oh, Dana, <laughs> drop the Olaf card. I, I, yeah, I, mm -hmm. hold on, let her get back in. Hurry, Ray. Toy Story Land! Just like I always tell my pal Buzz, you've got a friend in me. Look at his little Buzz Lightyear like wings. Come on, Slinky. Come back around. Army man! Ace Ranger. <laughs> I'm sure to let Buzz know we got some recruits in town. This land is just, it gets me every time. It's so stinking cute. Ooh, my ears might blow off. It's windy. <laughs> Come Slinky. Slinky dog! So we're here with our nanny from Once Upon a Nanny. Her name is Kara. And she's gonna hang out with Riley here while we take Wheeze on all of the big rides. Uh, so this is an option if you have little ones that just aren't into the rides and you wanna do some rides, or if you have like a little one and an older one and the older one wants to do rides, they'll hang out with you at the theme park. So y'all all have annual passes yes. today? Yes. So they have annual passes. Um, you come to resorts too, huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so they'll do like a resort stay um, with your kids if they wanna have like a, do y'all do one day? Like can y'all take them to yep. the As long as they let us know in advance. Okay, yeah, so awesome option if you have a little one that's just not into the the disney ride so you can still take an older one out and have fun are you ready little girl yeah. <laughs> she said she wants to ride with miss dana here it comes
just cracks me up. Here it comes. Slinky dog. Well, this little girl's living her best life. Jump. <laughs> We're heading into Batu. Whoa. Hold on, let me get my sun. I need my sunglasses. Hold on, Wheeze. All right, so we're in Batu. Oh, they've got the, I think it's Bantha tracks. We can go walk through the market if you want to do that too. We got a, a couple of minutes before we can scan in. But this is Batu. This is the Star Wars land. Her husband hasn't made her watch Star Wars, so she's never seen any of them. My husband, however, <laughs> I made him read Harry Potter so that I would watch Star Wars with him. So I, I know a little bit about this stuff and I love The Mandalorian. Oh, they've got the droid tracks. I love this. And the concrete. So it's got uh, like BB-8 and R2-D2 tracks. It smells like TT. Tea tea. <laughs> it's sleeping with a stuffy. Yeah. Can you eat this yeah. Come see Wee's. Actually, never came and looked around in here. <laughs> Look, he's breathing. That's a bantha, right? I think. I don't know. <laughs> Eat cutie patootie pie. <laughs> All right, we got about three minutes until we can clock in for Rise of the Resistance. So we're just kind of hanging out for a couple of seconds right outside the Lightning Lane. And then Kara, the nanny, is going to meet us here um, around like 11.20 because it takes about 20 minutes to do Rise and meet up with the stroller. Um, I'll book our next ride, probably Tower, maybe Millennium, since we're already in this area. And we'll do, do that. Transmission for Rise.
It's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, you're going to the prison. Shields. I see no evidence. Now! Sound the alarm. All personnel to their stations. Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. They meet where Chippendale used to. He said, number one, Donald Duck's number one. What do you think of Tower of Terror, Weez? It goes up, down. So as soon as it landed, she says, one, oh, don't sit on my lap. She says, want to do that one again. <laughs> so the banani. Uh, Kara has Riley at the Lightning McQueen show, so we said she's having fun. So we still have about 30 minutes or so, maybe 20 minutes, until we can tap in for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway Lightning Lane. So we came over here to the right of the Chinese Theater, and they have where you can meet the Disney Junior characters. So we're about to meet Vampirina, and then maybe do the dance party at 1230 potentially. But she likes Vampirina. You like Vampirina? Hey, do you like Vampirina? Yeah. Look, Weez, it's your turn. Go see her. Oh. 
you dance with her? To infinity and beyond! <laughs> Good job, Weez. Wait, hold on, let me get my, the picture, you know, cameras. All right, Weez, say cheese! You get your claws out like Vampirina? Like, get your claws out. She's saying it in Macaulay Culkin's footprints. All right, you ready, Weez? Want to take a ride on the train? It's Ray! Look, it's Ray! <laughs> it's Ray! Oh my goodness! Are you all pilots? Are! <laughs> oh my goodness! Do you fly spaceships? Do you? Have you ever thought about being a pilot? <laughs> <laughs> That's her go-to reaction when she meets someone new. <laughs> Have you flown anything new? Yeah. <laughs> Weez. <laughs> Bye, Ray. All right, last ride before we the nanny leaves us. Smugglers run. So freaking cool. Wee's 
got her, had to have her blue milk. I had promised her. She's been amazing today. So I got her blue milk. I got an extra cup to pour some in. Um, as always, mom hack, you've seen it in all my packing videos, bring plastic or reusable silicone straws because they give you paper ones. And those just disintegrate, especially when you have small kids that chew on them. All right, we got the brisket melt. And instead of getting the soup because it's so hot, we got potato barrels for the girls to share. And we got tachos to split, so we're just gonna share this from there it is, Woody's lunchbox. And then after we eat, we're just gonna go ahead and head back to the resort and let the girls swim because it's hot outside and they've both done great today. So the nanny just left us. Um, she was amazing. Highly recommend. Would you recommend? Yeah. So I ended up going back for a mobile order for the uh, like alien frozen slush or whatever. It's literally a Powerade like slushy. It was just so hot out here. I needed a Powerade anyway, and one that was frozen just sounded like it would hit the spot, and it's literally a dollar more than just getting a bottled Powerade, so. Treat yourself. Dominic, can you throw this out? So we're done with the parks for the day. Louise decided she didn't want to go back tonight. She'd rather go swimming instead, so. It is, what time is it? Five something, if you can see it, it's 5.24. It's just, we're, we're beat and tired. And she'd rather go play at the swimming pool for a while, so I'm gonna let her do that. Started packing up the rooms. Pretty much got the rooms packed up and ready to go, so we'll pretty much be ready. And the morning sunshine flyer picks us up at 7 a.m. So that's gonna be fun. And then, um, Head to the airport to go home. Ah, 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 no, ma'am. That was too risky. So I'm done. <laughs> She's done. <laughs> you done? <laughs> These somehow are not done because they've been. Although she hasn't been in the stroller too much. Mine hasn't. She's been walking a lot. She's gonna crash so hard tonight. <laughs> so pit stop at the little playground. What I don't like about the All-Star Playground, sports was like this too. I mean, music. I haven't seen sports playground, but music was the same with the sand on it. So that's fun to, you know, take back to your hotel room. <laughs> so all of the resort, well, not all of, most. There are still a select few that don't, but most resorts do have a playground of sorts for kids to go, you know, run around on. And get some energy out. This one's actually a really nice one. All Star Musics was pretty nice too. It was a little bit smaller. I like that All Star Musics was gated and Pop Century's playground was gated, which I like more. This one, I don't like that it has an entrance there and then there's a playground bridge. It's for like the ADA accessible, but it is an exit right there. And the only way to get out to get your kid from there is to walk all the way around on this ramp. So I don't like that there's two exits to man versus the few that have the gated in one you just have like one exit you can actually sit and watch your kids.
right guys, that's it for today. We decided not to go back to Hollywood Studios tonight because I'm tired. So I gave Louise the choice. She wanted to go back and ride Tower of Terror and I gave her the choice of Tower of Terror or swimming with her friend in the pool and she chose swimming. I'm fine with that. So we're back in the room. It is now 7.30, girls are bathed. We are pretty much mostly packed. We're having a dinner feast of all of our leftover groceries we haven't eaten. She's got little blueberries and cheese and pepperonis and got some veggie straws. Doing that, I still got a shower and pack up like the cosmetics and stuff that I need for tomorrow morning. Um, Sunshine Flyer shows up at 7 a.m. So I'm not gonna film anything on travel day because literally we're just catching the bus and going to the airport. So thank you guys for watching and following along. Give this video a like, thumbs up, hit that notification bell, subscribe to my channel and follow along for more Disney content. Bye guys.